following segment on KROC AM is sponsored and paid for by the Gwaltney Group of Remax Results. And Robin Gwaltney joins us this morning. Hi, Robin. Hi, how are you? Good. Great. We're going to talk about staging. Yes, we are. The and not to uh, talk about theater staging. No, not but, theater uh, staging. Staging of your home, getting it ready for sale. Absolutely. I'm thinking uh, the obvious thing is clutter. Clutter, you know, actually I was I was just thinking on my way over here that yesterday when I was at the uh, bridal show in Minneapolis, it was amazing how we reacted to the physical staging, the smells that were going on, mm-hmm. the music that was going on. All of those things are so important. Our senses are so powerful. And when you get into a house, you feel a certain way. And that feeling is based on how it smells, how it looks, you know, the temperature. You don't Mm -hmm. want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. But I think the most important thing is lots of natural light. Yeah, declutter, declutter, declutter. Is it important to go around and uh, paint your walls beforehand? I mean, knowing that likely whoever buys the house is probably going to paint them their own colors anyway. Well, maybe so, but I think it's really nice. I'm not going to tell you go neutral and make every house, you know, every wall in the house white or Mm -hmm. off-white. I think um, if they're already nice colors, then leave them. If they need touch-up paint, you know, if they've got any holes that need to be patched and painted over, you want to do all of that. You want to make people move in and think, or come in and think, oh, I could just move in here, you know? And if they want to change the color, well, that's different. Mm -hmm. But a lot of houses still have the dark paint colors because a few years back, that was a big thing. Now, the lighter and more airy the colors, there's a Sherwin-Williams agreeably gray that is so popular right Mm -hmm. now. Yeah, Agreeably gray. Agreeably gray. (laughs) All right. So, all right. Uh, getting rid of the clutter. You mm-hmm. mentioned the smells. Mm-hmm. Uh, you like to do some baking. I do. Sometimes when I'm doing an open house, I'll bring like um, just frozen cookie dough and I'll ask permission, of course, but I'll bake the cookies. So when people come into the open, they feel the warmth of the oven. They smell the fresh baked cookies. It feels welcoming. And then I'll just put them out on a plate and people don't usually object to that yeah. either. Uh, sometimes, you know, you talk about clutter. People are... Uh, Maybe they have too much furniture. Yeah, and that's why, you know, I've talked to you before, Rich, about the staging that we do. It's so important to just have somebody come in and take a look and say, you know what, this is great. I realize you use all these pieces, but while we have it on the market, let's put a couple of these in storage. Eventually, you're going to have to get it all out anyway, Mm -hmm, right? So why not get a little jump start? So if, if need be, rent a storage unit mm-hmm. for a month. Absolutely. And then, uh, yeah, that'll that'll take care of that unless you just want to go ahead and sell some sort of furniture or give it to your kids. You still have me stuck on smells. And, you know, I was yeah. going to tell you something. Don't go crazy with the candles and the air fresheners. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes you walk in and you think, what, what smell are they trying to mask <laughs> when you smell all of that? To me, it's, uh, you know, and I'm nothing against uh, some of these stores that sell a lot of perfumes and right. soaps and things like that. But I can't handle walking into those stores because they're so perfuming yeah. and strong. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and yeah, sometimes even in our own home, we get some of those little things in the plug-ins that shoot out the... Yeah, the some of them are really nice. It, just, it drives me crazy. Yeah, but. my dad's the same way. He can't stand anything that smells. And I tell people yeah. you have to be really sensitive to everyone coming in. So, you know, you want it neutral but nice. Okay. So what else do we need to, to know? Well, you know, I think that people say to me all the time, do I have to take down all the pictures of my family? And that is... Um, a little bit over exaggerated. Mm-hmm. You know, if you've got pictures going up your staircase, um, 24 pictures of your kids, yeah, that's too much. But if you've got a few pictures of your family around the house, I think it just feels like a loved in, you know, a loved, lived in, mm-hmm. warm family atmosphere. And I think that's just fine. So don't go crazy about that. All right. Uh, so take care of some of the pictures, don't have them all on your shelves. Yeah, too much clutter, right. Declutter and declutter some more. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, you got to have the house clean. And windows, you know, shades open and Mm -hmm. sunlight in. People like bright, clean, decluttered, fresh, you know, nice smelling. Music is good if it's nice background, quiet music. Just make it inviting. I think that's the key. Just make the home feel, you know, like, ah, I could live here. So... 
I would imagine in some respects then winter might be an easier way to sell if you were, if your backyard, if you're not the gardener that you'd love to be. <laughs> yeah, you can hide that, You right? can hide that <laughs> up with the snow in the background, especially if you got a uh, nice looking overall yard. Well, unfortunately, sometimes people have beautiful landscaping and then they feel like in the winter it's, Goes the you know, way. it's hidden. So sure. I always recommend get out your pictures of what it looks like in uh-huh. the summer and lay them okay. out on the counter so people can see it. And then it's, you know, it's enticing. It's a good idea. And of course, if you have uh, questions, maybe you're realizing it's just a little overwhelming for me. Uh, you got people that'll take care of it for him. Absolutely, we do. And how would people get a hold of the Gwaltney Group? Um, it's very easy to call me on my cell phone, which is 507 259 4926. And certainly, I would invite you to check out our website at www.gwaltneygroup.com. All right. Very good. Robin, thanks for coming in. We'll do it again next Monday. All right. See you then. It is 917 on Rochester's Good Morning. When the winter...